In this video, I'm going to show you how you can, in a Zoom meeting, use PowerPoint presenter view so that you can see your notes and slides, the audience can see just your slides, and you can see the video and chat on another screen. And to do this, you do need three screens because presenter view in PowerPoint will take up two screens if you only have two. Full screen for your slides and your presenter view is on the, let's say, the laptop screen. Now, in Windows, you can actually make that presenter view window less than full screen and then try to stick the videos and the chat beside it, but it gets very, very small. The chat runs very quickly off the screen and those videos are so incredibly small. So it's much easier to do it with three screens. Now, I have my regular laptop. I have my extra monitor here just connected via HDMI, regular. And then there are a number of different ways to get a third screen. You could use a uh, Microsoft Display Adapter and use Miracast to get to that. If you have another port on your computer to attach another display or your dock uh, has ports for multiple displays, you can do that. You can use software like uh, AirParrot to project a display connected display via Chromecast or Apple's AirPlay. Or what I'm doing here is I'm showing you is an option that you have if you have an iPad or an iPhone. So I'm running a software called Duet Display. Duet Display is D-U-E-T Display, and you go to duetdisplay.com, and you download software for Windows or Mac, it works there too, and you download software for your iPad or your iPhone. Now the iPod, iPad or iPhone uh, software does cost, so there is a cost to it, but it's really quite minimal, 10 to $15 usually. And what it does is when you connect it via cable, just the regular USB cable, to your computer, it connects it as a display. And the way I've got it arranged is I go into my display settings here, and I've done this in advance. And so what I've done is, is I've arranged the monitors so that they match what's on the desktop. So number one is my laptop, number two over here. And again, if you click identify, the numbers come up on the screen so you know which is which. And then you drag them around to match the proper arrangement that you have on your desktop. So I have a Zoom meeting already running. And one of the things you need to do with Zoom is to turn on the dual monitor mode. So in the Zoom settings, in your Zoom, uh, regular Zoom app here, if you go to the gear, the settings, under general, you want to make sure it says use dual monitors because that's what allows the video portion to pop out and be over there on that other display. So the other thing I need to do is I need to take the chat and if it is docked, you can, uh, there's a little arrow, you can pop it out and I can take that and drag it over to my screen here. Maybe I decide I want to make it a little bigger so I can see more of the chat while it's going on. And then in PowerPoint, what I need to do go to my PowerPoint presentation is I need to specify to PowerPoint, I want the slideshow to show up on that monitor three over there. So on the slideshow ribbon, I'm gonna go into set up slideshow and I'm going to be specific. I'm not going to let it choose automatic slideshow monitor. I'm gonna drop this down and I'm gonna say monitor three. And depending on how Windows recognizes different monitors, it may actually tell you, in this case, it says duet display. And I'm gonna click use presenter view. Click OK. So in Zoom, what I'm going to do now is I've got everything set up. I'm going to share that third screen. So the nice thing in Zoom, what it does is, is for the screens, it tells you one, two, and three. So I'm going to share screen three, share that in the meeting. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure Zoom was on my laptop when I did that so that my controls are at the top of the screen here. Now in PowerPoint, I can say, okay, let's start up the slideshow from the beginning. And you'll notice I have my presenter view here and I want it on my laptop because that's usually where my webcam is. I see my notes, I see my slide, the next build. The audience is only seeing my slides over there on the third screen on the iPad. And I'm able to see the video and the chat here on my second monitor. So now I can just simply go through my presentation as I normally would go through it, being able to see my notes, being able to see the slide, what's coming up. I can make these notes bigger or smaller like you can always do in presenter view. 
The audience is only seeing the slides. I'm able to keep track of what's going on. I can see the audience face reactions. I can see the chat that's going on in the meeting. So this is the way that you can do this. When you're done, you simply stop sharing in the meeting, go back to PowerPoint, get out of uh, presenter view here, and I'm back to my regular Zoom meeting. So that's how you can use three screens in a Zoom meeting to use PowerPoint's presenter view to see your notes, the audience sees your slides, and you see the chat and the videos. That third screen is attached. It can be wirelessly through one of the other options I talked about, or you can use an iPad. And again, you can also use an iPhone. So if all you have is a phone, you could use that as well. It's really small, but it's a high resolution phone. So it's certainly plenty enough resolution for the audience to see those slides on their screen quite well. So consider that if what you're looking to do is to use presenter view while you see the chat and the videos in a Zoom meeting. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.